What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 8th Pi Game Tutorial video. In the last video we were drawing a rectangle and we were hitting our arrow keys and moving that rectangle but we found that there were a couple problems here. First of all the first problem that we had is uh, actually let's just bring it up and show you guys our two problems. The first problem is of course uh, it moves good but if we hold it it does not keep moving and since the game is snake we actually want to press the key and we want the movement to continue happening for snake but first what I want to show you guys uh, is to continue moving while you're holding the arrow key and stop when you lift the arrow key and then converting that to what we need snake to do is very simple so let's go ahead and close that and begin so first of all why isn't uh, why isn't that rectangle moving as we would expect because if we look at the code we're seeing for event in pygame.event.get and we're seeing here that if the event is a key down that we would want we want to move the, the X so why isn't it moving and the answer to that question is actually we'll um, we'll just put a print event here and we'll bring it up and so we have all of our events here let me just put it in the background like that and then so we have our game and now it's active state um, and we can move and you'll see I hold the key down and you see how it's not still pushing stuff it's not saying key down key down key down key down key down no it just says one single key down and when we lift it it says a key up but if we hold it it does not continue saying key down and that is why we don't continue having movement the event is not a repeated hold the key down an event is only a change in status so the key down is holding a key down is not an event at all lifting the key is an event so what we want to do is any every time the key is pressed down we want to change some sort of other variable that will then keep affecting our lead variable so here's what we're gonna do we're close out of this close that we'll come back to our code we'll get rid of print event and now what we want to do is instead of lead x minus equals y let's say we want to have a, a third variable and for lead x and y anyway the variable will be a lead uh, I'm trying to think if I want to do yeah yeah we'll have to do lead underscore x underscore change and to start it's zero we have no change right because there's probably no input but if the event input is a key left then actually what we want to do is we'll copy lead x change and we'll just replace lead x with lead x change and then again down here lead x change and now um, we'll get rid of this equals negative 10 and then lead x change equals 10 so we basically are saying at first the change is 0 and then down here the lead x change will be negative 10 and then the lead x change uh, will be 10 uh, if it's right and then minus 10 if it's left so then the last thing that we need to do is outside of this loop, this is the event loop, and now we have our logic loop basically. Um, we don't have any like serious logic, but now we've got our at least our rendering logic. So we've got uh, lead underscore x, and then we'll say plus equals lead underscore x underscore change. And what this is going to do is it's going to add, or really a better term would be sum, lead x and lead x change. So even if lead x change is negative 10, it's still going to sum those together and it'll you know subtract 10 basically. So um, so lead x will change and then uh, we'll come down here, we fill it, we draw it, we update it. Now this is actually still going to be somewhat problematic, but we'll, we'll run it just to see, we'll learn some stuff. And so we see our rectangle here, but as soon as we start to move it, it's like bam off the screen. <laughs> And let's see if we can bring it back. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So so you you saw how it moved really fast. Um, you probably couldn't even tell on my screen, but it moved really fast. And the problem or the reason why it moved really fast is we're not defining frames per second at all. And that's okay, but you do need to define frames per second if it matters to you because right now. Uh, this is very simple logic right here, and so my computer and your computer probably does this very fast, and so we're probably pushing like a thousand or more frames per second. And that's not good because we're running this while loop basically, 
um, a thousand times a second. So if you're holding down that key, it's like BAM <laughs> off the screen. So uh, what we want to do is now we need to define um, something for frames per second. And then also uh, right now what will happen is basically our snake event. And then basically what we want for our snake game, as soon as you enter a direction, it goes that direction. Um, so we'll also change that. Um, and and then we'll all, we'll have to add in the Y soon as well. But anyway, that's what we're going to do in the next videos. We're going to uh, talk about frames per second. We'll add that to our script, and uh, hopefully things will be a little a little smoother then. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.